Alright folks, welcome back to King's Console. Here's more Call of Duty Modern Warfare content for you. Today we're having a look at the Season 6 Combat Pack. As you may be aware that every season, for those of you that have PlayStation Plus on the PlayStation, uh, you can actually claim a free bundle. And this season is no different. So Season 6 is the character skin you can see in front of you for Rodan. Um, yeah, the pretty much going to the theme of Gulag. So each season seems to have a, a theme. And this one is the, the Gulag, so you can see that we have him as a prisoner. Um, we'll get a closer look at all the items included. So this is his prisoner look, so the shaven head. Um, just in case you forget, this is standard kind of look for Rodan. Um, and he's actually been one of the characters that's had the most kind of variants. Um, he's actually been a pretty good character for changing up different gears. So having Rodan as the, uh, the jailbird, it's pretty cool. Um, as always with these setups, the, the gear has got accessories, so he's got his rope around the shoulder. Um, if I let's see if I can spin around a little bit. Yeah, so you can see he's got his rope around his shoulder. Uh, he's got flip-flops by the looks of it on his feet. Some kind of little satchel bag on the side. Uh, I wonder if that's his shiv. That's, yep, his little shiv, which is one of the items we get, which sits in the, the side of his uh, little satchel bag at the back. A gun holster. Um, and some like Russian lettering on the uh, the jumpsuit itself, but yeah, overall, nice looking skin, uh, very good to see. If you've not been somebody who's been able to purchase any of the items, or not even get the battle pass, and you've been able to at least collect these uh, skins for Warzone, and maybe not playing the actual Call of Duty multiplayer, then it's been a great gift this season, or not just this season, this um, entire game, giving these items away. But anyway, let's continue on to some of the weapons. So onto the weapons we have, we've kind of created a little class here, because there's two two secondary weapons, so we have the um, my usual little weapon review this is the slip shot so as you can see it's a rather roughed up 1911 pistol there with a orange soda can as your, your suppressor and that's a sticker as well so we do also get a free sticker which is like an ice cream sandwich from the looks of it with a, a file in it don't know the relevance to that, but yeah, the, the tins, you get the oil can as well with this gun as a variant, and um, it looks awesome just as a, like a makeshift silencer. Don't know how well an orange tin would actually do to be a silencer, which is orange soda. Who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. It's kind of like a, it's the oil can attachment, you can kind of see the oil filter attachment, um, but they just say to put a, a soda can on instead, but yeah, the roughed up gun. It's kind of cool to run as a different variant. Um, and yeah, I like the look of it. As I say, there's a free item. Was that June 10, 90, uh, 1690? Is that? I can't really see. But yeah, it's got the date on the side too. But anyway, that is one weapon variant. And let's have a look quickly around what we get. So we get the oil can suppressor. Obviously, a variation of that. Uh, so it helps your sound suppression. The cons are your damage range is reduced, aim down sight speed reduced, and your aim box thickness is reduced. We have. The barrel is the 0.45 compact, so your aim down sight speed's improved, movement speed's improved, bullet velocity and recoil control is reduced. Um, a couple of different variants, I like to try and go through what they look like normally. So that's the barrel normal, that's a different spec, the callus, and yeah. So I'm sure that actually probably looks the best out a lot, really. This kind of gives it a more rough look. Uh, we have the light trigger action, so I don't know if there's a variant of it, but your lightweight trigger is your fire rate's improved, but your aim stability is reduced. Uh, I think it's maybe just, yeah, just a kind of a, a dirtier version of the uh, the trigger itself. The sleight of hand, of course, is just your perk, sleight of hand. And this is a five, five uh, item, or five attachment uh, weapon, so it's pretty good. Um, and we have the stipple grip tape. Now, this, of course, if you don't know what stipple grip tape as well, then you must be pretty new to the game. It is, improves your aim down sight speed and your sprint to fire speed, but your aim stability is reduced. Probably one of the best attachments in the game. It's default. I can't really see much there. It's kind of on the back. Yeah, you can go to the different variants. So it's not much of a colour variant uh, with the slip shot, but that is the gun. Uh, we also have a melee weapon. Got quite a collection of knives now. Uh, this is the Shiv, I believe this is the one because there's quite a few different variants here. Yep, that looks like the Shiv. Actually, looking at it, it's quite similar to so there's Prisoner 627. If you don't know who that is, that is um, 
at the price. But the Shiv just looks like a cleaner version of that. Um, by cleaner, I mean it's not got the kind of Russian text on the side. So let's have a quick overlook of the, the Shiv. Yeah, pretty much. Got the tape as a makeshift blade. Uh, as a chef actually is, so you can see the kind of made up blade there. I don't know what it's been made out of, but a very sharp point at the end, which you can stab you with. And it's got the kind of the bandage wrapped around as the makeshift wooden handle. Um, looks quite lethal. Uh, I might actually do a bit of a uh, run around the war zone with the, the shivs. But that looks pretty cool. And we also do have a few attachments, uh, say attachments, a few extras as well in the space of the barracks. So let's start off with the calling card. We have Don't Back Down, which is a nice animated card. Um, I didn't actually realise I'd unlocked this on my phone and I kind of completely forgot about this. And I was just going through, thinking, oh, have I managed to get these calling cards? But yeah, you can see I've got my soap one on at the moment, which I kind of like. Um, but that's the Don't Back Down. Emblem is. I always find them here. Yep, it's kind of the same vein. It's actually a really cool one. Same again if you're I'm obviously going for my season level 9 of my um, season 6 emblem there at the bottom. So you try to get animated, but in terms of a, a free animated GIF, that's. Um, a GIF, emblem, that's pretty cool. Um, don't know if there's any sprays. Was there any sprays? I don't know. I don't think there was. Let me just double check. I've actually taken a little note of what is included. So we went through the skin, the blueprint, the knife, the weapon, ah, weapon charm to go through, and the double XP. So they had no spray. We got 60 minutes double XP, which is pretty useless for me because I'm max rank. But we do get another weapon charm. Uh, nice little collection of these things now. Let's go to our, our gun again. Handgun, 1911. shot, And then we've got the gunsmith. Customize. Charm. And there it is, a little ball and chain. Um, we've got quite a few of these little things now. Don't really use them on the guns, but they're nice to look at if you're into that thing. But yeah, you kind of see it hanging down there. It's a little little ball and chain on your, your gun. Um, but that's it guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, it's just a quick run through of the Season 6 uh, Combat Pack, if you haven't got it already yourself, just search the PlayStation Store for Combat Pack Season 6, or look for the Call of Duty area, um, and it's in the PlayStation Store for you free to download. But it's Dave King's console, see so you again very soon for another video, bye bye!